Uh, how would you sum up your campaign then today? Because it's difficult for everybody at the start, but for everybody else it's improved in the last six or seven weeks as well. Yeah, quite frustrating a little bit because I got that dead leg against Middlesbrough and um, even still now sometimes in games I feel it a little bit. So it's kept me out for, I played a couple of games and I was out for two, then I was playing. Um, but on the whole, performance wise, uh, even I've got, um, it's backed up by the data um, that I'm, I'm playing really well. Um, and I hope to just carry that on because, um, yeah, like I said, the better I play, uh, the, be the better the team plays. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to carry that on. It's interesting that you and I dare say one or two others in the team sort of feel that weight of responsibility to carry that oh, performance. Yeah, definitely. I feel that quite heavily, to be honest. Um, not that I think I'm the best player or I think this or that, but I feel like results usually correlate when I play well. So, um, yeah, I know the lads work extremely hard every single day, just like myself. And even at the start, the start of the season when we was uh, not picking up points, not playing very well, I feel like as soon as Danny came in, even the games, but I feel like some of my best games have been in our defeats. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've been playing quite well. And um, yeah, since Danny's come in, then uh, we've got we've got miles miles better. Yeah, I was, was going to come on to, to Danny or the changing manager. What's he done in your mind's eye then? And what's he perhaps said to you as an individual specifically about what he wants that's helped get the team into the the, the better form recently? Um, he's not really spoke to me individually that much. Um, just the way he sees football and the way he coaches football, I feel like is the way I see it. Um, he's the be he's the best coach I've ever had by by far. Um, and uh, yeah, the way he sees football and the way he explains it, in, and Henrik and the staff as well. Yeah, I, f I think I think they're unbelievable to be honest at what they do. When you when you look at that, do you look at say Danny, obviously who's coach with the German national team and Munich and Leipzig, etc. Um, and feel that they bring with them sort of experience of dealing with some of the best players on the planet and that can kind of help you guys? Well, yeah, like I think I said it when he, f when he first got the job. I think I did press and I said, if it's good enough for Thomas Muller, then it's, then it's good enough for us. So, um, yeah, he, he even shows us clips from Bayern Munich and stuff like that now. Like Obviously, they're a far better team, but the, the ideas and the, and, the, and the stuff is the same. So, yeah, we, um, he, 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 he's taught us a lot. And a lot of the stuff he's kind of teaching us is stuff that I genuinely believed was right in the first place. So it's kind of nice to have someone come in who shares the same sort of uh, belief in the way football should be played. So what's been the uh, the kind of post Southampton review into what went on from a Wednesday perspective? Look, Southampton are a good team that obviously bears itself out. But what could Wednesday have done better in those circumstances? I think. I think the game was in the in the balance. To be honest, I thought there was they're obviously on top with possession wise stuff like that. They're an excellent team. I used to play with their coach, so I know him really well. I think he's a top top coach. I think he's going to go into big things. Um, and I think the main thing is I don't think we forget tactically. I don't think we ran as hard in that game as we have in the in the other games. Um, but I think that's because to be honest, I think they tired us out with the possession and the way they play. I think they're excellent. To be honest, um, but yeah. I don't think we was ever going to go there and be expected to win, but that's where we've got to try and get to. Is that a sort of mentality thing? Because because ultimately, well, to state the obvious, to stay up, you're going to have to perhaps get a couple of odds defying wins, if you like. Yeah, but I think the f the form table going into that game, I think we was fourth in the league or whatever. Yeah. So if we can carry that form on, then I think we'll be okay. But um, as I said, Russell's got Southampton play. I think they're twenty unbeaten or something. Um, playing excellent football. They're really hard to. They're really hard to play against. They do make you work. So, um, yeah, I think it was always going to be a difficult game. But we did believe we was going to win before going into it. And then, obviously, 60, 70 minutes in, uh, we had us running around a little bit. But it was um, no, it was all good. And we've learned a lot from it. And we'll come back stronger. Coventry City then next. It's a relatively quick turnaround in games ahead of a double, I suppose, against them in, in League and Cup. What do you remember about the challenges they posed down at their place on, on Boxing Day? Yeah, I watched it. I didn't play in that game. I was uh, yeah. I was out. So um, yeah, they've got loads of good young players. A top manager who's been there a while now. Um, obviously, got to the playoff final last year. So we know every team. It's weird the championship because every team's got good players. Um, it's just the the best teams are the ones who play more consistently. So um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. The flying high at the minute, um, but on our day, I generally think we can beat anyone.